Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at using a protractor. So we need our protractor itself and we need to have the angle that we're going to measure. So we first of all need to find the center of the protractor. So that's the little plus sign in the middle. Then we need to find the vertex of the angle that we want to measure. So the vertex is the corner point. And what we want to do now is we want to put the center of our protractor on that vertex. So we're going to move it and line it up. So that's our first step. Now we want to turn our baseline until it matches one of the two lines. So I'm going to take my baseline of my protractor, which I've just drawn there in red for you. So that's my baseline, the 0 to 180 degree line. And I want to turn that until that baseline matches one of those lines of the angle. So that is step two. The last step is to actually measure the angle. So this is now when I need to decide which set of numbers I use, the inside or the outside ones. So in this case I'm going from that baseline and I'm going upwards. So that means I'm going to use the inside numbers, the ones in blue. And that's going to give me an angle I zoom in there, that should give me an angle of approximately 67 degrees. So that is what I will have. That's how we use a protractor. Thanks very much for watching.